imposter is known for many things. One, being an idiot, two, being a king, and most importantly, being a father. And today we'll focus on that last one. You may have seen videos of people having an investigation of Mario characters, or just video game characters, mini breakdowns. But I checked on YouTube, and while there are some videos saying that Bowser is a good dad, or a bad dad, they said on a full investigation. So let's investigate if Bowser is a good dad. Okay, let's start with the good things. Bowser cares about Junior, when he's not kidnapping Princess Peach. And I think a good parent needs to feed, clothe, and give a home to live on to a kid. And Bowser Jr. does have education, he does have food, he does have... Uh, I mean, I guess that counts as clothing? And Bowser does have a big castle on Junior lives on. You could say Junior is a spoiled rotten. And he is. Almost now every time we see him on his Koopa car, there are exceptions, of course, like Super Mario Party and Mario Sports Mix, but most of the time he's gonna be on his Koopa car. Now let's talk about emotional care. I try not to talk about the whole parents and control commercial because that's a commercial that isn't canon. So in the games, I mean they do have a good moment at the end of Sunshine, and in Bowser's Fury, we understand that they were playing before Bowser Jr. got black paint on his dad. Or that's what I heard. Most of the time, Bowser just treats Junior like another minion. But that's mostly because we are always on Mario's shoes, and don't see a lot of Bowser. But on a spin-off, like Mario Bros. Rabbit, it sounds like Bowser isn't the best. I mean, sure, he leaves Bowser homework and things to do when he's on a trip, but even then, there are some concerning dialogue, to say the least. And speaking of concerning, let's talk about the bad things of Bowser. We know that most of the times, Bowser Jr. is fighting Mario, and that could be very dangerous. And it is. Let's not forget, it looks like Junior is taking care of Bowser sometimes. Also, Bowser has lied to his son for many reasons, like getting him to also unkidnap him during speech, and doing more things he could do himself, like just fight Mario. And let's not forget his other kids, that he doesn't take care of or just got forgotten. The first that come to mind are the coupons. This guy used to be Bowser's kids, but stopped being because Nintendo just didn't feel like it. And the Koopa kids from Mario Party that died because no one cared about them. But according to Nintendo, the coupons aren't their kids anymore. So how's he treat his only child? I mean, good, I guess, for the most part. And, ugh, okay, I'll mention it. The parental control trailer. Because he Bowser cares about his son and likes his companies most of the time. When he's not a spoiled brat. And usually Bowser does think of the junior. But sometimes, he doesn't. Like, let's be honest, he could exclude Junior from all his elaborate shenanigans, but he doesn't. Let's remember, Bowser is not the brightest guy, and that he's very stubborn. He has been kidnapping the same lady for over 35 years. Now that is persistence, or just a stupidity. Junior, on the other hand, seems okay with Bowser's Shin Chan hooligans, so he gets a chip of the old block. Maybe Junior is a lot like his dad, and that makes their relationship good. So in conclusion, is Bowser a good dad? Mm, I would say a 70% of a good dad. He's an alright dad, not the best, but he's not the worst. You can make the argument for both parts if you feel like I miss anything. Tell me in the comments. This is the game, my girls, and I say, you are next! <laughs>